In this episode, we're meeting up with Jeff's brother, Kenny Jones, at Okatibi Reservoir. That's right, we're gonna be fishing for crappie, and there's even some incidental bass bycatch. So stay tuned for episode one of Brackish Coast Outdoors. Pretty much twin fish right there. But this right here made the whole trip worth it. So after work on a Friday, we headed up to Meridian to meet my brother at the boat ramp at Okatibi Reservoir. We grabbed our video equipment, rods and reels, we jumped in the boat, headed out to catch some crappie. Oh, oh man, what a fish. That was a stud dog yep. right there. There you go. Flip him in the boat. There you go. Alright. There's the first one. You're real big. Fish. So Lake Okatibi is a man-made reservoir and it's just loaded with crappie. So much crappie in fact that there's no size regulation. Well, at least they're here on that. There you that. Go. Good deal. That's a little honey hole, ain't it? Yeah. That's pretty nice. Yeah, that's pretty cool. He was talking about the vertical lines, so I figured I'd show you the vertical lines. That treetop's right where you're at? It's close. It's right in there somewhere. I think you just got hit. That might have been. Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah. right, he's he got me home. Look at that. Got me home. I will never get this fish out of me. Here, let's get him out. Is he off now? Yeah. Man, that was a good fish. Yes, it was. You sure you got him? Wow, dude, look at that. that. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make that up. You got him. Oh, that's a good one there. He's a better one. <laughs> We still can't believe we actually got that fish in. That's incredible. Oh, that's pretty ain't it? I'm betting I'm gonna dip it. He didn't really dump it like I like him. That's pretty wild. Well. That's the best eating kind of me. Well, the bike kind of slowed down, so it was time to head on in. And with at least a dozen fish in the cooler, we figured, hey, that's enough for the day. We're all hungry. Let's go get some barbecue. Practice Coast Outdoors has been brought to you by Wingo Outdoors, Cleansor, Black Creek Canoe Runner, and Savior Outdoors. Also by Vibe Kayaks, Groove Fishing, Bending Branches, and Meat Balls.
Well, after a great night's sleep, we were excited to get back on the water the next morning. We had no idea what was in store for us. In fact, we didn't even have the cameras rolling when the first fish came in the boat. Got triple going on. <laughs> All right. I think we're in the mud load. I'm gonna get another minute on. Pretty one though. Yeah. Got that dark belly. That's a black crappie. Is it? Yeah. He ain't got no lines on it. Okay. No, no so they just got a pattern. They don't have can, the lines. Yeah. You can you can actually put him up beside one of the whites and you can tell the difference. That's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, well, missed him twice on a jig, popped him on a minnow. Pretty good one, probably 10 inches. Uh, yeah, he might go level. <clears throat> and that could be brim hitting like that. There you go. There you go. Let's set you up. There you go. Pull the little drag out. All right, that's enough. Just, just, yeah. There you go. Good for you. Yeah. yeah, I usually lift them, Jeff. That's the best way. I know y'all ain't used to lifting the salt water. Oh, oh. There's another. There you go. Two at a time. All right. That's the way you do it right there. All right. That makes it better. Yeah. There we go. Pretty much twin fish right there. White crow. That's pretty fish. Good eating. We're gonna get some more. We're gonna get mad on them now. My jig is this 10 foot with the rear seat ACC. I I was skeptical about the uh, rear seat until I got one. I kept so that's that sits like a fly rod. Yes. And the weight distribution, look at my finger right there. My finger's right there. And the weight distribution's awesome with it. I mean, it's just, you can fish all day and no fatigue at all on your wrist and on. I love it. Look at that. There you go. You see that cork do that weird thing? <laughs> it went, no, it went sideways. Yeah. 
Oh yeah. It's pretty. Like they're like speaking. Look, look at there. Oh, that's, that's a pretty, pretty one right there. Man, that's a fish right there. Get that one on there, man. That's a good fish. Good looking fish. The black always makes them look better, look bigger. As you can see, we're just wearing the fish out. I mean, the action does not stop. There's so many fish getting caught. That's right. As you can see, we were doubling up. Jeff had a double there. Uh, his brother, Kenny, at the same time, we we're just pulling these fish in left and right. So much, in fact, that we were burning through camera batteries and memory cards. <laughs> yes, so much. So much, and it didn't stop. That's a better fish, yeah. Woo, I was on the I was on the verge of getting a calling net. Yeah, That's a pretty one there. Hey, is, your, is that camera recording on your chest? Yeah, I reckon. Is it flashing red? There you go. Oh, you know what the heck you doing? <laughs> Figuring out how to use a 12 foot rod. Right? Yeah, hey, hook him right in the top of the mouth, right where he's supposed to. Did you feel the bump? Oh, yeah. I love it. He smoked it. To me, that's better than any bass you ever want to get. Now, he's a tiny one, but. I don't mind. You got one, buddy? That's just. Okay. Better than the ones I've been catching on the jig. What's that? Oh, yeah. Hey, you got one there, Matt? Do I? Think so. y'all just start doing something else. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, caught, I had caught so many fish, and I wasn't even paying attention. I'm telling you, we were wearing them out. There you go, Matt. Yep. Sorry, sorry. I think you got something good. Nope. Yep. Yeah, I got yeah. it. You got, you got a catfish, dude. That's catfish. No, that's a bass, dude. That's a bass. Dude, do not let me lose that bass. You gonna have to man, man. You got braid on there? Yep. Yeah, don't worry about getting him. <sighs> That right there, boy. Oh my god. That's what we need pictures of. Yeah, you gonna go pro. So the crappie were fun and all, but this right here made the whole trip worth it. So we were both a little skeptical about going up and catching some freshwater dinks. Right. <laughs> but as it turns yeah. out, this was one of the best crappie trips yeah. I've ever been on personally, and I know yeah. Jeff's probably the same. Yeah, exactly. And you know, I, I've always pictured panfish as you know they don't really fight hard or whatever. But I'm telling you, that 12 foot rod that's like <laughs> limber, like they really hit hard, they fight hard. It's a great fight. I'm looking forward to getting back up there. Yep. We have another trip planned next year, and it's going to be even bigger and even better. I've been Jeff. I've been Matt. Good vibes. High lines. God bless. bless.